Recently, I had made a video about how I got verified on Instagram as a producer, and the video has kind of started to take off. And I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys, you know, asking me, you know, why hasn't my account been verified? What am I doing wrong? I have like a million Spotify streams. I have all this stuff. It's like, what am I doing wrong? And, and some of you guys have been hitting me up and telling me that, you know, you're struggling to get that verification badge. And that's why I want to, you know, make this video and give you guys some strategies that I used. I realized that, you know, in the video that I posted, it was kind of my personal story, but I didn't really give you guys some clear strategies to use. So that's what I want to outline in this video. And uh, before we dive into it, I also want to say that um, the tips that I'm going to give you guys, even though like, you know, the Instagram verification game is so kind of uh, tricky and, and random almost at times, but I think that these techniques that I'm going to give you guys are going to help, you know, even if you don't get verified, they're going to do really good stuff for either your producer brand or your artist brand or whatever you're trying to grow on Instagram. So stick with me in this video. So the first strategy and advice that I have for you guys is focus on content. You know, since I posted that video about how I got verified, I've been getting a lot of messages from you guys and then I check out, you know, some of your profiles and it's like you have three posts on Instagram. You know, the last one is like eight months ago and it's not clear to me, you know, who you are, or what you do just by looking at your profile. You know, I, I think that Posting on Instagram really consistently is something that'll help you grow your account like really, really far. Instagram likes to see people who are dedicated to the platform. You know, my personal goal is I try and post on Instagram every single day. And if I'm honest, you know, it's it's kind of a challenge sometimes, um, but I'm still finding that I'm posting majority of the days in a week pretty consistently week over week. And leading up to when I got verified, uh, this was something that I was really focused on. I was trying to post every single day, sometimes even twice a day. Just, you know, I really wanted to show Instagram that I'm serious about this platform. Stories can also help with this too. Um, my personal goal for Instagram stories is I try to always at least have one thing in my story. Um, if possible, I try and have a couple things just throughout the day, but um, I really just want to tell you guys, like, you know, are you posting enough stuff on Instagram? I don't think Instagram is you know really gonna care about verifying your page if you post you know once every two months because it doesn't really seem like you're an active user on the platform so yeah make sure you're posting you know really consistently really dedicated to the platform and if you're wondering what types of content work best i'll explain to you guys what worked well for me so as producers you know i know that a lot of us hide behind logos and we don't really show our, our personal lifestyle and what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, I know a lot of us just got into this for just making beats and now you're like, yo, I gotta post like vlogs and all this stuff. Like it doesn't have to be that complicated, but you know, I know that some producers and I was guilty of doing this for the longest time. You know, when we wanna post on Instagram, we take out our phones and we screen record FL Studio bouncing around, you know, to the beat when the kick drops and the bass drops. Um, and it's like, yeah, you know, that stuff is like so many producers do it. It's so common. But in my mind, in my experience, it's not the most engaging types of content. Same goes with producers who, you know, upload videos where it's just a picture of Drake and their beat playing. Like it's, it might lead to some beat sales. But I don't think it's the most engaging type of content that you can post. And it took me a little bit of time to realize this. You know, I found that, you know, by posting these videos of my FL Studio project file, it wasn't really showing my personal brand. And this is something that's really an important key factor, personal brand. When I personally started, you know, focusing more on my personal brand, you know, showing myself, kind of ditching my logo, um, showing pictures and videos of myself in the studio, that's when two things happened. One, I think that's, you know, what kind of helped lead to my Instagram verification. But two, it also strengthened my beat selling brand. Um, I think that I was able to, you know, build a lot more trust with my clients and rappers and singers. It's almost like people, they know me. It's like they're more familiar with me. You know, they know what I look like and how I talk and how I act. And it's like they're more comfortable with hitting me up for a beat before we've even talked before. You know, I, I don't really have any like real statistics to back this up, 
but from what I've seen personally, a lot of producers and artists kind of in the same boat as I am with the same, you know, accomplishments, statistics, engagement levels, the ones who are verified are the ones who have focused on a personal brand. And the producers who, you know, just post FL Studio, you know, videos with their phone and, and I don't really know what they look like, those people haven't been verified yet. So I think that Instagram, you know, from my personal experience, really likes to, uh, I don't know if I want to say favor, but you know, it might be easier to become verified if you have that personality, if you, you know, are a personal brand. So yeah, for me, like I was talking about, I went from recording, you know, FL Studio. If you check out my Instagram now, uh, you'll see a ton of videos of me mostly making beats on my MPK Mini. I just record some short videos of me. And I think this does a couple of really great things for my Instagram. Um, one is that it's really clear for people checking out my Instagram to see what I do. Like if you look at my Instagram account right now, you'll see a ton of posts. I think it's pretty clear that I'm a guy who makes beats. And um, I don't know, the content, you know, for me, I think it's a lot more engaging to see someone, you know, work on a beat, program in the drums, play the chords. Uh, and you're still getting to hear that beat too. So rappers and singers, they still hear the beat so they can still, you know, hear your beats and buy them if they want to. So moving on to another strategy that I have for you guys, engagement is another thing to focus on. And I think that this is something that uh, can really help your uh, A, posts get seen by more people, but also just help you get to that point of verification. So I, I think that, you know, we all know how Instagram like kind of works their algorithm where if you get more engagement, more activity on your posts, like likes and comments right away, your posts are gonna get seen by more people, which, you know, all in all is just gonna help grow your Instagram page. And this is why I always encourage um, uh, people to reply to comments on Instagram. Like what I personally do is whenever I make a post on Instagram, um, I try and reply to all the new comments right away because the more comments that come in quicklier uh, will help, you know, boost my posts forward in the algorithm. And I'll also do things on Instagram that encourage people to comment on my posts as well. Like when I'm making a beat and I'll show myself making the beat, I'll ask people to write in the comments. Sometimes I'll ask people, you know, what artist do you hear on this beat? So it encourages people to comment, yo, I hear Drake on this beat, I hear ASAP Rocky on this beat, whatever. And I've also done things before, like I've asked people, uh, help me name this beat in the comments. So it encourages people to listen to this beat and then, uh, you know, hey, I think this beat sounds like it should be titled this or something. Like I'm just trying to figure out creative ways to encourage more engagement on my posts. I also now wanna talk about achievements because I think that this is kind of like a, a hot topic, especially in my last video and something that I've been talking with some of you guys about, achievements. In my video, I talked about how I got verified shortly after I had hit 100,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Um, I was, you know, releasing my first official single as a producer slash artist on Spotify. Um, I was also getting into some bigger Spotify playlists with artists that I had collaborated with. You know, I think that having some accomplishments like this on other platforms like Spotify or YouTube, they can definitely help you because it shows that you're kind of like an established, you know, person or musician. But I think that achievements come secondary to content. And that's why I wanted to share my, you know, strategies about content first in this video, because it should be the first focus. You know, and, and that's also why there's a lot of producers like myself who, you know, I don't have all these major placements with big artists. Like I'm not, you know, on like the billboard charts or anything, but I'm still verified because I think that my content game has been so strong on Instagram that, you know, Instagram hasn't really cared about, you know, which artists I have placements with. They just see I'm a dedicated user to the platform and that's why they chose to verify me. But all in all guys, you know, I wanna mention again, and this is how I basically closed off um, my previous video about being verified on Instagram. You know, I, I know the, the, the badge looks cool to see and yeah, it shows some like, you know, officialness and establishmentness, if that's a word, but um, I, I just want to tell you guys, you know, don't get too caught up on this thing, like having this little blue check. If I'm 100% honest, it's been about six months since I've been verified now. And 
I haven't really noticed any difference just by having that blue check mark. Like it's not like my beat sales went up and a lot of people want to work with me. The reason that my Instagram is growing and I honestly believe this is because of the content that I'm posting. And I think that even if I didn't have that little blue check beside my name, if I was posting the content like I do, you know, engaging content, engaging with my followers, posting every single day as much as possible, I think that I would still be getting the same amount of beat sales and, you know, like views and engagement and followers and all this stuff, whether or, you know, not I had that blue check. Like, I think that the content game is so important. That's why I want to tell you guys, focus on content first, grow your brand through content. Um, don't even worry about that blue check. I mean, you know, I know everyone wants to get it, but if you're focusing on content, you'll be able to grow your account. A, a lot and that verification badge might not have any difference like it had for me but I don't know hope this video helped answer some of you guys questions help clear some things up a bit and um, yeah if you guys have any questions let me know um, if you want to speak directly with me about you know some other Instagram strategies for growing your channel hit me up on my Instagram DMs it's at Omido Beats I will leave a link in the comments below and subscribe to this channel because this is my second YouTube channel where I'm going to be posting stuff um, kind of behind the scenes stuff like this. Maybe videos of me talking, giving advice, other stuff than me just making beats. Um, but yeah, I just want to help you guys as much as possible. So please hit that subscribe button, leave a like and a comment and I will see you guys in the next video.